Hi, and welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Alejandro Hoyos, and today we have Stuart Tonks from GGF, and we'll be talking about different systems that he built with a bunch of uh, ASUS components that we want to talk about and discuss today. Morning, Stuart. How are you doing today? Good, good. Yourself? No, yeah, doing so, so so far so good. Awesome, awesome. So we have a very beautiful system here. <clears throat> Why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what's, what do we have here, what the components, and the story behind the color scheme and all on the theme. So yes, as you can see, it is a very, very vibrant uh, color scheme. It was fun actually going to the hardware store and picking out all the different types of spray paint for this, uh, mm -hmm. trying to get this color right, because this is in the brand new Aces Republic of Gamers Hyperion case. It's this monstrosity here, it looks very aggressive. And the whole theme about it, um, Zeus sent me this artwork. They've had creators create this uh, fantastic artwork. It is quite large, so some some did get chopped off, but as you can see, you That's can beautiful. make that what you will. It's kind of like a, a person. You've got like motherboards around here. Uh, you've got heaps of crazy stuff. So yeah, I was sent this um, as a photo, and then I just went to, went to town on trying to recreate some of this styling in this uh, build and the case. Nice. So I, so I can see how from that work art you were trying to match all the paints and also, not only the paint yeah, exactly. but also the, the cooling, cooling and, and the colors. So there was a lot of my main colors were like the pink, the teal, and the purple, and so on. And that's why I went completely deconstructed the case. I went with the teal on the outside. I really do like this paint. It's like a chalk, mm -hmm. a chalk style paint. At first, I wasn't quite sure whether I should try and blend more of the pink into the front. I was right. going to try and mix the paints and have it sort of fade into each other, but I'm, in the end, I just went with the solid uh, teal greenish on the front, and then I decided to try and keep as much more of the pink and the purple on the inside. That, that's, no, I, I really love the color scheme and how you're able to do it. So you said this is the, the new Hyperion case that they just recently launched. Yes. How was your experience building it with that? What do you think about um, it? It's different, it's different. This is my second build in this. I did a full uh, blue and red rogue theme the first time, and this is something a, a little bit different, a, a little bit vibrant. It's got a lot of cool little things. I'll just remove that. It's got like this little uh, door or tray that slides out. You can put like your tools, your zip ties, your screws. So that's kind of neat. Uh, it's also got this uh, fancy LED accent panel. It might be hard to see. It does come black, and you can see it's got like, the ROG logo, uh, logo behind it. It's got that animatrix kind of display, and then that goes into the uh, RGB on the front panel, and you can control that. But I did paint that to match the rest this of the right. theme of the case. Nice, nice. And so, what, what actually, what uh, type of processors, motherboard you got here, video card? So, of course, you have the Intel i9 13900K. Uh, the memory is the XPG uh, Lancia. That is the ROG certified. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if that's out yet. I've used that a few times. It's like the mirror. It's got a mirror design on it. Very nice memory. Uh, we have the ROG Thor uh, 1000 watt PSU. Of course, with this case, nice. it's got the cutout, so we had to use that. Uh, you can customize the logo, and then it tells you the watts. It's currently 155 watts, so we can tell we do have a game open in the background, so, so it is running. doing a bit. And then the GPU is the uh, ROG, uh, that is the Tough 4090 in this one. Oh, that's, it's, it's a beautiful build. I like a lot of what you did also here with the mirror so at the I've bottom. Added, I do a lot of mirror. I'm kind of known for adding mirror, mm -hmm. uh, mainly on the basement covers. Then I, I was thinking about doing mirror on the back and on this area, but I decided to keep it a little bit more simpler. I went with some white vinyl that has a bit of a, a bit of a glitter. You probably won't see this on film, a bit of glitter speckle to it, and it just adds a bit of overall bling to the uh, theme of the case. And then of course, uh, the these nice sleeve cables, because you couldn't really use the stock cables in a, in a yeah, board like this, yeah, yeah, especially that uh, the NVIDIA sort of uh, extends to the three the three cables. It just wouldn't go well. So these are the cable mod uh, sleeve cables. And then, of course, it's got bits power water cooling all around. And I just love this uh, complete monster of a bits power water block. So that's the actual water block base. And then you can get a secondary active back plate so it cools the top and, and the, bottom the bottom of the car then you join it all together like a sandwich and then you can see the coolant on both sides yeah it's beautiful i, I just realized that yeah the, the video card is just right here yeah so normally you cool the, yeah. the back to the bottom side of mm -hmm. it which has the uh, the die and your memory and then the top side of it is here where previous gens 3090 used to have the memory on the back not so much these days but it's still cool and it still helps a little bit to cool the back of the die and it just looks really good as well i know this is a really great piece this is awesome this is a beautiful build, so why don't we just come over and check out the other computer they have just behind us. Yep, sounds good. Let's All go. Right. All right, Stuart, so we just saw the, the one that we have behind, which is a beautiful build, but this one is also very beautiful. So tell us a little bit more about this one. So this one takes a little bit of a different style. So the other one we saw, very aggressive, uh, typical rock theme. This one is a ProArt theme, as you can see ProArt here. We're in the ProArt area at the Azus booth here. 
and it was kind of different doing a product themed build because obviously people know they're for creator it's it's more of a, a subtle theme it's not a, as aggressive like i said before we've got a lot of blacks a lot of i would say bronzy colors and with this theme i just wanted to do something very clean i wanted to do a smaller build i use the john's bow this is a d41 it's the atx variant of the case and they do incorporate a screen in the front so I could put some stats on there, I put some sensor panels, but you could go nuts with this. You could add anything you want. You could use this as a secondary editing screen, you could put other things on there. You don't have to use it for stats and so on. Nice, nice. so what about the components? What do you guys have here? Uh, so we have the, of course, we have the Z7 790 Pro Art Creator. We'll talk a little bit about that uh, in a second. We have an RTX 4080, that is the Strix. Once again, bits power water cooling. I really do like how the bits power water cooling just complements this build. Uh, it's got the black and the bronze actually on the fittings. Nice. Uh, same with the radiators. We've got some Leanly uh, AL120 AL uni fans. Everyone goes nuts about these uni fans. They just all join together and you just have one cable that comes out of each bank. So that's really nice. Uh, we do have a i5 13600K for the CPU. And for the memory, we are running some uh, TT Tough RAM. Nice. So 13600K for the processor. And you know, you have your E cores and P cores, which is coming great yep. for all day when it comes to content creators. Yep, sure. But, oh, that's great. Okay, so you said that the, the video, uh, not the video card, they actually the motherboard. Yep. So we have, uh, yeah, tell us a little bit more. Uh, so this uh, style of board is the Z790 uh, Creator. It's the ProArt series. They do a lot from the Zeus with their ProArt. They've got even laptops now. Uh, the monitor behind us is ProArt. They've even got some OLED uh, monitors as well. And they're really pushing these boards. Uh, for creators, content creators, and so on. So to talk a little bit more about this board, we do have Juno from Zeus, so we're gonna cut over and she'll talk a little bit more. So we have this beautiful motherboard here that actually, it caught my attention because uh, here at PAX is the first time I actually get to see it. I mean, I've seen uh, your whole lineup before, but this was the first time I see it. So I wonder if you can tell us a little bit more about this new uh, Pro Art series of motherboards. Yeah, so for sure. Uh, store covers the aesthetic of it. You will see the black, Tong and then we have this um, subtle golden lines on it. It's, it is muted yet very elegant. So I don't look into the design of the board. Uh, when it comes to a content creator PC, um, you will look at the powerful CPU. Right. So this motherboard design for Intel latest 13 set CPUs. So with that being said, when it's a powerful CPU, you need stable power supply as well as very stable cooling solutions. So this model got both covered with 14 plus 1 70 amp power stages mm -hmm. as well as different uh, fan hiders as well as AL cooler, uh, AL hiders to cover the so cool, sorry, to cover the cooling side of it. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, so this is, this is decided for content creators and you want a very stable system, you know, and uh, the process to go with it for content creators will be the top end of the 13 uh, Intel Core Gen series, so like the 13900K, 13900, 13700, all those that'll go in there with the E cores and the P cores. So this motherboard complements that by bringing all these different features, like you said, from headers, power delivery, to make sure that it's a very, very stable system. That's pretty neat. So I saw over here, I don't know if you can tell me this, a little bit different from the other motherboards that I've seen. There's something new, I don't know, you can point it out for them. I don't want to spoil it, I would take the thunder away from you. Yeah, sure. So when you look at the bike I.O., you'll see two Thunderbolt 4 header here. So it delivers 40 gigabits per second transfer speed. Mm -hmm. And that is essential for a content creator to transfer in and out files a lot more. That will provide them like faster, quicker file transfer. And then you look into here, so you'll see two LAN ports one 10 gig, one 2.5 gig. So for 2.5 gig, it will do file, upload to the cloud, download, download from the cloud. And then 10 gig is for the file, production file. Um, that you can do within the back end of the server. Yeah, it's more like backup. Okay, okay. Redundancy, right? Yeah, for the redundancy. Just yeah, case. so it transfer to the NAS. Yeah. So if I backup, and also, if you look into other USB ports here, you will see six 3.2 USB ports with 10 gigabit transfer on speed. And also, you'll see Wi-Fi 6 e ports here. So, uh, if you are looking at connecting your PC with Wi-Fi, then you got it here. So, if we move back here, you'll see the USB 3.2 Gen 2 front panel port here. So, it's Type C, 
and it was a quick charge for what it mean is it delivers 60 wattage quick charge it connects to your mobile phone other devices charge your phone other devices quicker faster nice nice, nice. Mm -hmm. this is pretty cool i really like that because yeah like you said what really caught my attention was also like the dual land ports that you don't need that very common on, on motherboard so you're providing that also the thunderbolt like you said when you're doing file transfer especially when you're shooting videos for example what we're doing right now uh do all that video transfer thunderbolt thunderbolt 4 it makes a big difference and of course one of the, my favorite features in all the motherboards that you guys have that i have to actually do is this pci Yay. quick release <laughs> i yes. love it it is a pcie slot quick release so what it does is uh, usually for traditional motherboard you don't have this one you will plug the gpu in we want to pop it off and then you have to use like chopsticks or screwdriver yeah. to you know click on this button here but then with this notch in there just like click it and then you're good to go no great this is great thank you very much you know i thank we you. learned a lot this is an amazing product thank you so much and appreciate the time you have with us today thank you Alex. thank you have a good day